I was talking to a student of mine, Avram, and we were talking about mixing and how we can mix drums. And he's sending me over a bunch of stems for me to mix and master for him. And one of my suggestions was is to make sure that the kick is separate from the rest of the kit. There's a lot of times people are working with their drum sounds as a single unit, but then their kick is either way too loud or way too boomy or all these different things, and it's hard to get to it if it's mixed in with the rest of the drums, especially when you're talking about sending it off to a mixing engineer or something like that. So I showed off this quick and easy trick for him about extracting a drum cell, getting one sound out of the rack, putting it into a separate track, and that way when you bounce down just that track, it's only the kicks. And I'm going to show that to you. So if I press play here, we got this trap thing that I put together in a few minutes. And we want that kick to be separate. So let's look over at the instrument. And we want this to be separate. Now, one way you could do this is you could control D, duplicate it, then come in here, delete this. And that's just the kick, and then this one, delete that. That's a longer way of doing it. But there's a super quick way, which is when I'm looking at the kit itself, I go into my chains, it's this button right over here. Now in chains, I go over to my kick, I right click, and it says extract chains. And bam, there you go. It automatically put it into a new track with a new drum rack with just that selected chain. So now if I double click here, you'll see that it, it got rid of that MIDI automatically. So now when I press both of these, it's the same sort of thing, but I have separate control here, EQ, things like that. Granted, this is all similar to having it all in one track, in one drum rack with all the processing for the single cells as their own thing. You can do either one. This is just my preference. And the advantage to this is it makes it very easy for him to bounce it down. All he has to do is solo this and send me that stem. And then I'll have all the stems I need to make sure I get the best mix for him. Hopefully you enjoyed this really quick trick on mixing your drums and extracting a drum cell so you can easily edit and affect it by itself. If you want more quick tricks like this, check out subaqueousmusic.com. My site has over 200 plus free articles, tons of things for free download. You name it, check it out. And if you have any questions, comment below. I'd love to hear about it.